Hi, it's Linda from Eco Botanica, helping you to grow the best organic food you'll ever enjoy. And today, it's all about celery. Do you grow celery that tastes like grass and it's stringy? Well, there are four easy steps to growing the best, juiciest celery without any strings attached. So let me show you how. Come on, let's get into it. So here we are in my celery bed. It's growing really well. But before I put it in, even as a seedling, I prepared the soil so it was nice and fertile. And I added some calcium. Step one, lime or dolomite to help the celery stand up nice and straight. Step two, keep the water up to it and make sure that that celery never dries out because there's nothing worse than a droopy celery. Step three is fertilizing. Fish and kelp or backyard blooms to make your celery nice and sweet. And finally, blanching your celery with paper. This stops it from tasting so green and grassy. Let's have a look inside. This was done about a week ago and the celery sticks in there should be just delicious. Snap them off at the bottom. Yeah, pale green. Mmm, that's really good. Hmm. Let me show you how to do the blanching with paper. Now step four, which is blanching your celery, is the easiest thing to do. But a lot of people don't do it because they don't know how. It's easy. Take two pieces of your local paper, fold them in half lengthways, and a piece of string. This is baling twine from my cane trash bales. Wrap it around your celery, reasonably firmly, and tie that with a bow so it's easy when you come to harvest it. You're not struggling with a knot. Now leave that for about five days so the chlorophyll dissipates in the celery stick. Undo the bow and harvest your celery and it will be absolutely beautiful and sweet. You're going to leave this little trendy skirt on there for the rest of the life of the celery because as the new celery sticks grow, they'll go green as well. So leave that on and just take it off when you're harvesting. Now, you can check out my website, ecobotanica.com.au for some other great organic growing hints. But while you do that, I'm just going to go off and make myself some pineapple and celery juice. So see you next time.